Hi, I'm Jo, and today I'll be showing you how I paint my scallop shells. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. First of all, you have to source your shells. We're lucky here in Jersey as we have plenty of fishermen who dive for scallops. And luckily for me, I have somebody who supplies me with them. But you can get them on eBay or Amazon. Although it's likely that when you get the shells, they will have been washed and maybe bleached, I usually put them through the dishwasher on a normal cycle just to make sure they're really clean. This is one of my favourite blue shells and today I'll be showing you how I paint one like this. This is the paint I will be using. As the shell absorbs a lot of paint, you will need quite a bit. Make sure you cover the shell really well with this base paint, getting into every little nook and cranny. does absorb so much paint so this will take a while so here we have it completely painted lovely bright blue so if you can leave that dry for at least three hours preferably overnight the next stage is to paint this blue rim here I use this lovely deco art ice blue paint if you look at the shell it has natural markings which run across the shell there and what I'm going to do is paint downwards like this following that natural line The next step is to do these blue arch markings here and this is done with Posca pens. I have the thin one here um, and that's for the outline and the thicker one for the colouring in. What I'm doing is drawing the arch up to the ridge, this ridge here, like that. The shells are very rough and the pen will scratch so it's best to be quite careful and do the markings gently. Then just to colour in the centre with a thicker blue pen. Next we're going to do these white markings here. Again we use a Posca pen, white, and this one's a thin nib. If you look you can see another ridge here and I'm going to start the white markings on this ridge. Draw a little rectangle and colour it in. You can hear the pen scratching so try and be as gentle as you can. So now we've finished with all the pen markings on the shell. We're now going to 
do these dots this is the fun part all these white dots here and really adds drama to the shell for the white dots i use this little squeezy bottle here it's got white acrylic deco art paint in it it's part of a henna tattoo kit which i got off amazon and it has a fine metal nozzle on the top if you haven't used one of these little bottles before i suggest you practice you want the consistency of the dots to be like this I'm now going to do the dots across the bottom bridge here, around the archways, on the top of these little white markings, up the grooves of the shell, and across the top here. Well, here it is with all the white dots and the final step is to add these yellow dots just here and the blue dots up here and put a little white dot in the middle. The last bit is this little white dot in the middle of the blue. So here it is, the final shell. I've grouped it together with another few shells and I think they look really good together. You can always add a clear varnish like this one to make them shiny and keep them protected.